Hello and welcome back to Tharic Place Enter the Gungeon. In the last and third episode, we played the Convict, so today we're going to go with the Hunter, just so that we have played with every class at least once. I don't know how I will, how I will proce uh, proceed from this point on with the class selection, but I at least wanted to go through every class once before I uh, maybe mix things up a little bit more. So, the fourth and final class, at least as far as I know, is the Hunter. The Hunter has the following items. A crossbow, so we've got a active, uh, a, an additional weapon again, like we did with the Convict. And the Dog, Junior 2. A faithful companion finds items on room clear. And not only does he sometimes find items, but he will also spot mimic chests and bark at them, I think. So we don't have to be uh, too afraid of those. We will at least, should at least spot them right away. So the crossbow is a one-shot item. Uh, and I'm missing quite a lot of shots, but they do deal a good amount of damage. And they do take down most of the standard enemies in one or two shots. And so I will use that quite a lot now, I think. In the beginning here I don't really need to, uh, just because it does speed things up a little bit. And let's see, one shot. This guy should die in one shot as well. Oh, come on. I was a little bit more concentrated on dodging there, something I had a problem with in the last episode. And when in doubt, I probably should focus more on dodging than hitting the enemies. Just because otherwise I will get hit, and getting hit is bad, as we all know, and of course, immediately I get hit. <laughs> so that's just my luck. Or incompetence more likely. Oh, nice, a chest. Oh, hello. That's the unfinished gun. It's got some nice damage, I think, but its spread is pretty horrible, so it's more of a close... It's, it's not that good on long range, just because you can't really aim with it that well. And so let's stick with the crossbow, I think. It's just better for me, at least. Oh, he... that jerk. Come on. Thank you. And we actually kill those with one shot as well. That's pretty nice. Oh, chest. That's the little bomber. I don't know what's... I, it might be a Bomberman reference. Maybe. It's just a gun that shoots bombs. But it needs a while before it's loaded up. So we'll stick with the crossbow for now. At least with these rooms. We don't really need to uh, go for the little bomber, I think. I don't know what we will use on our boss room necessarily. But maybe we'll stick with the little bomber as well. And I might want to go for the secret floor. But probably not. Maybe we want to keep it simple for the first few episodes. So we need two keys actually to get through there, which we obviously don't have. We have no keys. So we'll see. Okay, nope. The bombs will just take down without any hassle. And not the half 9,000. Okay. This might... Oh boy, I'm super bad. Let's... You know, let's actually go with a little bomber here. I just want to try it out. I think it deals a good amount of damage as well. But the time it takes to, to get itself ready so that we can shoot is a bit of a problem, I think. Or it might be one. And if you weren't aware of it, I, I just said it. Uh, there are There is a, sec a secret floor in this game, which you can access on the first floor. Um, I will show it at some point, I think, but not today. 
I just want to, to focus on the normal stuff first, I think, at least for the first episodes. And I'm probably not good enough to make that one reliably yet, so I would like to train a little bit more. You could argue that the best training would be just doing it and learning everything about the floor that can be learned, and you probably would be right. But I think for the, for the first few episodes I still would like to keep things uh, without these kinds of uh, additional content, if you might call it that. I'm not sure why, it's just uh, what I'm going with. So this will be a chest which we won't be able to open as well. We might as well open this up. We still need to find our shop and hopefully there will be at least one key in there. And maybe the boss will be nice enough to drop another. We are pretty okay in the in the weapons department already. And I feel fairly confident uh, considering the guns we have available. Uh, but we shouldn't use up all of our crossbow ammo ammunition. I probably want to use that one on the boss as well. Maybe the little bomber, but I'm not sure yet. So what do we have? Do we have available here? So we've got the flare gun. We've got some armor, but we also got the key, a key, and I think I will buy that, but not use it yet. If we get two keys or another one from the boss, I might want to go for this chest instead. And I'll stick with the crossbow for the boss. I assume it will be Bullet King. Yep. It's very often Bullet King when you enter from the south. Uh, not always, but it, it tends to be, I think. Uh, and it can't be the Bullet King if you enter from the north. So, oh boy, of course I get hit there. That was really close. I need to remember these. I shouldn't forget about the blanks. And if I only get hit once here, I still call it an okay boss fight. Of course, mastering, uh, flawlessing it would be nicer, but I won't be too... Oh god, I rolled right into that. That's unfortunate. I should have just used the blank. And I'm... Oh boy. I'm running out of ammo here, so let's switch the weapon. Oh, come on, just die already. Oh god, yep, that's about right. <laughs> okay, that was unfortunate. Let's just uh, quick restart with space and try again. Because that is not good enough. The Bullet King is one of the hardest bosses for me, at least on the first floor. And I'm still getting into the habit of talking in this game, well, in, by playing this game and dodging and stuff like that. It's, it's not as easy as it sounds. And I usually tend to, I usually do a lot more <laughs> round uh, strategy, uh, turn-based strategy games. So this is a pretty big change for me, and it's a whole different dynamic. In a turn-based strategy game, you do have the time to just take a step back and wait a moment, and you can't really do that here. So do I maybe want to do the secret floor? It has to do with this room, if you haven't figured it out already. Maybe. We'll... I, I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, nice work. So that room was pretty easy. The game is throwing us a little bit of a of an easier start here. So what is this? The regular shotgun. I do at least want to try it out. It's probably got a little bit more range than the, uh, the sawed off and it actually works fairly well. So let's use this for the time being. Oh nice. And it should be pretty okay against these knights. Yep, and this. Okay, there's our shop already. Let's take a quick look and see what we have available. What is this? The backpack. That's extra item space, I think, for active items. So we don't really need that. And there is a helicopter flowing, fl uh, flying by. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm going to close ah, my window. 
I hope you couldn't. I think the mic is good enough to not pick that up. It's just background noise, but you never know. So I have to, to check if, if that got recorded or not. I don't really need the shotgun here, but it speeds things up a little bit. And so I don't mind, and we got we got a decent amount of, of, of ammunition for it, so why not? Oh nice, another key. This is... Oh god, that was so bad. I got stuck on the table again and wasn't as far into the room as I wanted to be and I forgot to dodge roll. Yep, that's mistakes I shouldn't do. Hello. That hit us, I think. I think we lost another half heart there. So that was not nice. But we, we spawned in a pretty pretty poor place, uh, or we were in a pretty poor place when the uh, when that when those grenades shot up. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, so this was not an item room. It might have been, but one of the doors would have the entrances would have been locked. I think. Hello. This. Oh come on! Oh one more. And that's an ammunition. Shotgun Cola speed up? <laughs> what? Highly caffeinated, save the cap. So we're just faster. That's cool. And that's assumably our boss fight up there. We'll find out. In right after commercials. <laughs> Yes, that's our boss fight. So let's go back to the shop. Is there something we would like to buy? Not really. Um, the health might be okay, but I hope we won't need it. But I will switch back to the crossbow. So we get the trigger twins again. Okay, and this time I would like to focus more on dodging. I hope I can make that work not get hit here. And we do need to try to take down the small guys as well. Okay, that... Oh, that's dangerous going so close. And I am shutting up right now a little bit more because I need to concentrate, I think. At the moment it's going okay, and I hope I can keep it like that. And we do still have enough ammunition left, I think, that we should be able to use the crossbow until the end of the fight. And let's focus on the other trigger twin for a moment. Oh, of course I get hit. That was so close. And... That's one. And... Oh, what? He he regenerates health when that happens? Is that... Oh, what? So we got hit again. Come on. Almost. Okay, there it is. Okay, that was unfortunate. But I, I, I think I did better overall with the dodging. It didn't work out too well in the end, but it's it's okay. So Jolter, I don't think I have used this weapon before. Originally built to kill thick-skinned space mutants, the Jolter fires unreasonably large shells. So how does that look? Oh, hello. That looks cool. But I don't know what this is or what this is a reference to, to be honest. <laughs> so if anybody knows, please please tell me. There are just so many references in this game, and I know not even half of them. Oh, that's quite the knockback this gun has. Uh, shot rate is not bad, but I like the crossbow better, I think, but maybe for that... E oh, of course, an Iron Maid. That's not what I would like to deal with. 
that missed every shot, but now we do get some nice shots there. Thank you. Oh, crap. Yep, yeah, that was dumb. But it's fine. At least we even killed it. That was not okay, though. That was really dumb damage. I should not have taken. I guess that was a, was a northern lionism. Really dumb damage. <laughs> or terrible damage. Something along that line. Let's see. More enemies? Yep, more enemies. Oh, and we've got uh, the buff guy. Doesn't do anything himself, but he buffs someone and they get a lot harder to kill. I don't think they are invulnerable, but it's still a lot harder to take them down. Well, that was a big room with a lot of exits or entrances depending on how you want to look at it. More of these, they're not too bad, at least in this room. Oh nice, some armor. That's the the, the Corgi. Let's call it a Corgi because he looks like one. Uh, he found that for us, which is oh, God, and it's already gone again. That's a chest, we don't have a key. But we do have a lot of shells, so if we find a shop and there will be some there. The rest is blank. Yeah, that would heal us if we use the blank. Um, I won't do it yet, but if we're not at full health before the boss, I might do it, because we do have three blanks. So I think we can afford to, considering that I tend to forget about the blanks uh, a lot of the time. It might be better to invest that in health. Oh. Oh. Okay, only one sniper bullet there. That's okay. And uh, it's, it's a weird mix. I think I handled this room pretty well. And then I get rooms where I just choke and get hit a lot of times. And that shouldn't really happen. I think I'm just not too familiar with the controls yet to, to make the right decisions at all times, or it's just that, that I sometimes make horrible decisions. I don't know. Oh, hello. Yep. There's a sniper. And there's probably another one. Yep. Hello. Okay, more snipers. What? He didn't, he didn't lose us there, even though we were behind the, the pillar. That's interesting. Okay, there's our boss fight. So we still need to find our shop. Oh, what's this nonsense? Okay, that worked. I need to find a teleporter. I don't want to go through that room again if I can avoid it. Is that guy, the guy down there was a different color, wasn't he? Uh, does that mean he was just a little bit stronger, maybe? Okay, there's another chest we can't open. And I will end up shooting them. They might still drop their loot if we can't get enough keys. And I'm almost out of ammo with this weapon. Which isn't too bad. It did do its job and I can just switch back to... Oh, yep. This is something I should usually do. I can just switch back to the crossbow here. Uh, which deals more damage, I think. Oh, wow. That was stupid. So, uh, this is a halo weapon, I think. So we've got table tech money, which is actually not that good. But we do have a key I want to buy. And I'm also going to buy the ammo. And let's open the chest down here and shoot the other one. Oh, what? That's pretty nice. So we're at full health and we get an active item, the bomb, used for boom. I've never seen a chest drop that many stuff, uh, that many items before. That many stuff. That was good English. <laughs> 
Oh, and I do need to go through this room again. Why? Shoot it. Okay, it's just junk, but that's still okay. Uh, was there the... Was the grade in the shop? I don't think so. Okay. So we can't sell the junk right away. And that means it's boss time. And time for the crossbow, I think. And we get the ammo conda. Which actually might make the shotgun better, but I will stick with the crossbow for now and hope that it works out. Oh, did, oh boy, I got hit there already. So this boss is really annoying. It's it's basically a screwed game of snake. Um, I this, These shots are just oh, really annoying. And the straight ones aren't better. But as always, Dodging first, damaging second. And in case of doubt, use a blank. I need to get that into my mantra. And I... Yep, there's the blank. I mean, we already got hit twice, so we are not flawless in this boss anyways. But it's still good practice. Oh boy. Thank you. And it's actually going okay, aside from the first, from the two hits. We are hitting with a bomb, which deals some nice damage as well. And I think we will be able to take this thing down. Yep, there is nice. That actually went okay. Which makes me even madder that I got hit. <laughs> and what do we get? The full heart, we don't need. That's the Thompson submachine gun, which we unlocked. We don't really need something out of our shop. Well, let's let's go with that weapon for now. I don't think it does too much damage. But it's probably better than the alternatives we have available. Or maybe do I want to go with the shotgun? Let's try out the, the submachine gun first. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not that good at the moment. But we'll we'll see. It's not bad, but it could be a lot better. That's what it comes down to, I think. And I mean we do have the active item. Okay, that bomb did land in the pit there, I think. Oh wow, that was terrible. But still. Okay, nice. We do burn through ammo really fast though, so I, I think we will stick with this for now. It's not horrible, it's just not really good, but it's it's fine, I think. It could be a lot worse. Let's throw our bomb, I would like to get into the habit of remembering the active items as well. And why not? Let's take. I probably should have put that with. picked that up with the crossbow, actually. But. Oh boy. Yeah, that's definitely something where I would change my weapon. Oh boy. This is just annoying. Nope. You're not getting away. Really? Thank you. Finally. That was just a horrible room. Let's. Let's go with the crossbow. I need to deal some better damage here. And not miss, preferably. Thank you. Oh god, I fell in again. It's just focusing on the enemies and shooting and not falling in pits is not as easy as it, as it sounds. Or looks, it probably sounds not easy. And go with bomb. Oh, nice. That was a pretty good hit. Oh, wow. He has survived that. I did not expect him to. Health is always good. We could use a health upgrade, though, if we want to get much further. Let's see what this drops. Something up there. Nope. 
Oh, they're poisoned? I don't know from what, but I won't complain. And actually, the Thompson submachine gun is okay. It's got a right, nice rate of fire, so even if we're not aiming directly at them, we're, we're still hitting a lot of shots. And so I, I think it's, it's, it's okay. It would be a lot better on a, uh, on a different floor, where the enemies have le less health, but it's still doing an okay job here. Oh, a gun muncher. Yeah, let's let's do that. So we feed the regular shotgun and the jolter, who we don't have ammunition to anyways. And we get one new gun out of that. What do we get? That's a revolver, but what kind of revolver? The Magnum. Five shots or six. That's a reference. <laughs> I assume. So let's try that out for a little while. It doesn't have... It has an okay amount of... of shots. Okay, so it's got a nice knockback, and... a really nice knockback, actually, considering that it's a pistol. And the damage appears to be pretty okay. So let's go with back to the submachine gun for now and maybe we want to keep the magnum for the boss fight might be a good idea oh yeah these laser guys are oh well snipers oh we got them both nice more snipers though I don't think that bomb will hit. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. And it's really unfortunate that I got hit on the bosses because aside from the boss fights, I think we're I'm doing okay considering my my experience with the game. It could be a lot worse. Please just die. Ouch. We did take damage there. I should just stop talking about my performance because whenever I do, I get hit. Okay, that's another chest with a light on it. Still don't know what that means. And there's our boss fight on the other side of this, so we don't need to go there yet. We need to find our shop first. Oh, damn. I That thing, thing didn't slow down. Okay, I need to... Yeah, I need something with a better rate of fire, I think. Or I want something with a better rate of fire in this room. The Magnum does burn through ammo pretty fast, unfortunately. Oh, wow, they are actually not dying to one crossbow shot anymore. And there's our shop, so this is already the floor, I think. Is... no, nope. Okay, there's an exit on the other side. And what is this? A lodestone amulet. I don't know what this does, so I won't pick it up yet. Let's get the half heart and let's get the key. And I actually have to walk all the way down there. Okay, let's let's keep going for now and get that chest later. Okay. What is this? This was pretty easy. This might not be. Okay, turret. Oh, I got stuck on that boulder. Or whatever I should call it. Holy crap, what is this room? Where are the enemies? There it is. Oh, please tell me it's only those two. Nope, of course there are more spawning in. Otherwise it would be too easy. Oh crap, I might die here. Oh no. I'm still alive. Nope, I am dead. Okay. <laughs> That's too bad. But I think it, it, it still was an okay run. So, 
Uh, that's where we will end it for today, though. And next time, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll go with the Marine again and we'll just cycle through again or I'll play whatever I feel like. I am not sure yet, but yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Gungeon, just subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.